the difference between a market and limit order, all right? And this, we're gonna talk about both sides of the equation, the buy and the sell. So I'm working with a lady right now who's got about uh, 21% of her complete liquid net worth is in Lockheed Martin stock, all right? In Lockheed Martin, you just see that. It's just freaking gone, it's, I mean, look at that. Since basically 2009, it's just gone gangbusters. So look at that. The PE is still 20. It's not a, it's not a heavily uh, it's a nosebleed stock in terms of price earnings ratio. It has a decent yield, about 2.68. But the issue is in financial planning, we do not like single company stock being that represent, uh, being that risky. So basically, if Lockheed Martin were to go kaput, oh, I'll never go bankrupt because of war machine. I get it. But if it were to, that's 20% of the entire portfolio just down the drain. We just can't have that. So, and on top of that, we have some major gains. So let's sell some and take some gains. So my recommendation is to take half off the table. Yes, there'll be some long-term capital gains. Oh, that's the price of making money, dude. I hate to say it, but yes, you pay long-term capital gains because you made money. That's not a bad thing. So she had been in the business a long time. It was around the same time I was, actually. And uh, she had taken her Series 7 and whatnot. She's only in business for about six months. And then she went on to other things. But she goes, Josh, I forgot what a limit order is a market order. And uh, and she got this right here, and it defaulted to limit order. And she goes, well, I don't know what I do. And she called Vanguard, which is where she holds her money. And they, of course, can't help her because I, she's like, I don't need advice. I just need education. And they said, well, I said, okay. And so she goes, and I said, can I do a video? And she goes, absolutely. All right. So anyway, so here we got Lockheed Martin. She's going to sell about half her position. Uh, estimated value in dollars. She, 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 so she has roughly 400 shares. She's going to sell about 200. And I'll bring her portfolio down uh, about 85,000 bucks off that, roughly. All right. So, and she's not a, a super duper wealthy person. I mean, you can figure out, you don't know who she is, but you can figure it out. She's got, if 20% of her portfolio is in Lockheed Martin, and she's got 172,000 in Lockheed Martin, doesn't take a rocket science to figure out she's got about 750,000 bucks of, of assets. This is, again, this is liquid assets, not your net worth, liquid assets. All right. So we want to get this down. We want to sell about 100 shares or so. Um, I know we want to sell about 200 shares or so right here. All right. So what happens is it defaults for some reason to a limit order. And what a limit order says, I will not accept a price lower than whatever you limit is. So right now, this, I think it's trading at 447. Is that what it's trading? 447.62. So say, I'm going to put a uh, I'm going to put a sale out there to the market, the ether of the market, and I will be willing to accept anything from 447 and above, but I won't accept anything below 447, if that makes sense. All right, so that's what a limit order would do. That way someone can't say, well, I'm only going to give you 460 for it. You know, yeah, I'm not accepting that. You know, I'm just not going to. So if you want to you know, kind of, uh, i got to watch what I say, um, uh, price me down if you want to price me down. <laughs> I'm not going to accept that. I'm going to take 447 uh, or lower or higher. That's it on the sale. All right. Now, in this case, it's got 600. How many shares have traded today? 609,000 shares have traded today. That's, I mean, I, this is the second time I'm doing this video. That's already 3,000 above where it was just a couple minutes ago. I mean, literally five minutes ago. So this is a very heavily traded stock, Lockheed Martin. is. So you don't really need, on a sale, you don't really need to do limit order. And I told her, I said, We'll call her Margaret. I said, Margaret, just do a market order. A market order just goes in there and it says execute upon receipt. So what happens is you got, I don't know how it works anymore. NASDAQ is, I don't even know if they got money makers or market makers. I, I can't remember. But basically it comes into this ent you know central location. You know, she's going to sell 200 shares. Yeah, 200 shares. You got to exit a trade, uh, a, a request to sell 200 shares at market. And you got a guy who's going to buy 200 shares. They make those matches. That's a market maker. They're going to make a meet. I, I don't know how it works. It's, Lockheed Martin's New York Stock Exchange, right? LMT, that's New York Stock Exchange. I, I don't know if it goes to the market in, the, in NYSE. I don't know, but I don't, it doesn't really matter anymore. They're just going to say, look, we got a seller, we got a buyer. They're going to make ends meet, bum, bum. So Margaret says, I'm going to sell it just best offer, essentially. And the best offer, I mean, again, 610,200 are now trading. It's going to be pretty, it'll execute just like that. It'll be immediately. Now, on a uh, on a on a lightly traded stock, you want you do want to put a limit order, lightly traded, you know, like the pink sheets and anything that doesn't have a lot of uh, I don't know what nothing comes to mind would be lightly traded. But you can find stocks that are they only trade a couple thousand dollars, a couple thousand shares a day, and the reason for that is because they see the sale. As, you know, literally, what you're doing is you're saying, "I would request bids. I have this stock. I'm requesting bids for it. Give me your bid." 
And if you have a market order, you're saying, give me whatever you got, I'll take it. You see what I'm saying? If you have a lightly traded stock and say the stock last at trade was at 10, and you're saying, give me whatever you got, someone can say, I'll give you nine for it. And if you put a market order, you're going to get nine. But if you put a limit order, say, you know, $9.95, the guy on the other side, the buyer would say, yeah, I'm not willing to pay nine eighty five. He goes, I'll be willing to pay nine. If, if you're ready to go that low, I'll pay for it. You see what I'm saying? So that's where you want to put a limit order if it's a thinly traded stock, especially on the sale price, because you're like, I can't get rooked on this. So if you're not willing to pay me the roughly equivalent to the last trade, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be in there. I hope that makes sense. So again, in this case, Margaret's saying, look, 615,000 shares have already traded. I'm going to put it out there in the market. The market is freaking it's booming. It's, it's heavy. It's heavy, heavy. No one's going to rip me off in that regard. I hate to say no. I mean, theoretically, that could happen, but it's not going to happen. Because there's so many shares being traded. I mean, it's boom, 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 boom. It's going crazy. It's crazy. And the uh, in a lightly traded thing, though, it's like I'm putting this 100 shares of Lockheed Martin out there for uh, for a bid. And people say, I'll bid freaking, I'll lowball you because you're going to put a limit order in. And that's where you want to limit on. Now, I also want to show you, too, that's on a sale. On a buy, it's different. On a buy, you definitely want to put a limit order on a buy, um, on especially a rapidly volatile stock. So I'll give you the example. When I used to work at Schwab, people would make market that on the weekend. You know, the markets are closed. And there wasn't any, uh, what the hell is it called? Over the counter? I forgot what it's called. I forgot what they used to, I can't remember. But after market closed, after hours trading, I can't remember. This is before all that. So people would put like, uh, we'll use Yahoo, for example, because Yahoo was booming back then. And people would say, man, I'm going to put uh, 100 order, 100, I'm going to put a buy order for 100 shares uh, at market. And they put it on like Saturday morning. You know, they're hung over. They're like, oh, I just heard some, you know, I like Marissa Meyer. You know, she's blonde. She's pretty. So I like, I want to attach my flag to her. You know, I'm hung over. You know, no one, you know, all the girls I was trying to meet with at the bar didn't reject me, so at least I can live vicariously through Marissa Meyer, whatever that chick's name was, the CEO of Yahoo. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get up there, I'm gonna buy hundred shares just to show Marissa that I like her. Okay. So now that goes to market as a market order. Now what happens is over the weekend news comes down with Yahoo. News on positive, news on the negative. And what happens is your order is not gonna place as the date of close on Friday night, it's gonna place the market on Monday morning. And Monday morning, it could be significantly higher than what you thought it was on Friday. We've seen this before, man. It closed on 40 on Friday, and it, the first trade 60 on Monday morning. You see what I'm saying? So you got 100 shares at 40 bucks a pop. You're thinking you're going to be out four, $4,000 of an investment. No, you're out 6000 bucks. And if you don't got the money to make that trade, that's bad. You know, they're going to execute it, and then you're going to have to come to the money. And if you don't have it, that's not good. You can't have that. So what happens here is you don't want a market order on a buy on a on a very volatile stock unless you're placing it this day. You see what I'm saying? So like I would buy, you know, if I'm going to buy Lockheed Martin today, I'd buy it, put it on market order, sure. But if I'm putting a trade when markets are closed, I'm absolutely put a limit order on that. Even a heavily traded stock, I'm not, frankly, not that worried about it. But, you know, like, but you've seen it with my own eyes. You know, people making bad trades because they know what the hell they're doing with market orders versus limit. What that guy should have done, he should have said, I'm going to put a limit order at 45. So I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a hungover guy. I really like Marissa. I'm going to buy 100 shares of Yahoo. It's Saturday morning. You know, no girl loved me. So I'm going to put, you know, I'm going to put a, a, mar a limit order for 100 shares at 45. Because it closed Friday at 40. I heard some good news. I'll put a limit order at 45. Market opens at 60. You're not going to execute. There's no execution there, which is good because you have the money anyway. Now, what usually happens when there's a big jump like that over the weekend or something like that, the the, the price usually will come back down. Not all the time. They'll usually it'll go spring up high because there's a million people doing market orders that they know what they're doing, or a million people trying to get ahead of the game. And then what happens will kind of fall back down. But if you have a limit order at 45 and the market opens at 60, you won't get traded. You won't get executed. There'll be no... Oh, what's up, dog? Oh, that's all right. There's my kid. Hey! There won't be. I know he needs a haircut, don't he? Oh boy. But if you have a limit order at 45 and the, and the market opens at 60, it won't get executed. You know what I'm saying? So what happens here is that your limit order will sit there until the price goes back from 60 to 45. And you can hang it. You can hold that forever. If you want me to, uh, hold on a second. Kids are home for school, walking around aimlessly. What do I do? What do I do? Get a job. Five years old, get a job.
When I was your age, young whippersnapper, I was digging ditches for the chain gang in the Union Army. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Not really. Anyway, so the point being is a limit order is important on a buy on a volatile stock if you're going to place a trade to be executed a following day. All right, I just I cannot stress this enough. Maybe it's just my paranoia having worked as a trader for Charles Schwab back in the late 90s when things were going crazy. But if you're going to buy a stock, put a limit order. If you're going to buy a stock for Lockheed Martin the same day, just put a market order. No big deal. Again, the market order just means I say, look, I'm willing to buy 100 shares of Lockheed Martin, whatever the price is. Best, I think it's, or what they, I can't, it's just I'll buy it. And because there's so many thousands and hundreds of thousands of shares trading, you're not going to get rubbed. I'm telling you, it's the lightly traded stocks on the sell and, the, and Frank on the buy too. And on top of that, it's the orders you put in the night before, the day before the market opens. Hope that helps. All right, love your thoughts. See you.